Make sure to subscribe to A Pillow on YouTube. Very cool content creator. In nomine patris et filius spiritus sancti. We're talking about the Pope today, ladies and gentlemen. The Pope Francis, Pope Frankie boy, Pope Frankie Frank, uh, Duke's Frank's uh, beef hot dogs, yeah? So the Pope recently made a ruling in the Catholic Church, uh, basically stating that, hey, you can't discriminate against some people anymore. And a lot of people got really mad at that, so Pope Francis has been fairly notable as a Pope for uh, not believing that people should be subject to eternal torment well no he still thinks that it's bad but he's uh he's been pretty open with the idea that hey just because you you like some people who, who look like you you like the people who share the same parts as you that doesn't mean that we should necessarily cast you out because you know jesus would want us to love each other he's jesus he wanted you to love each other so he's been a lot better with that because he's a Jesuit uh, going into Catholic stuff. Jesuits are typically the more progressive Catholics, which is like having the circleist square. It's it's, it's kind of technically you can do that, but like it's weird. Um, so now a bunch of uh, Catholics, specifically in the United States, uh, across the world, but they seem to really be localized in the United States, at least from what I've seen have not really liked this um so fairly famously you had uh you had this bishop from texas texas uh from texas joseph strickland be a pretty big critic of the pope open critic of the pope um so bishop from from texas got well he got nuked from orbit orbit just straight up removed just removed from being able to be a uh a bishop removed from office this doesn't happen very often typically someone will retire or step down uh he was relieved of his post he got fired so we have one of these uh catholic uh organizations and by catholic organizations I mean Twitter accounts, um, called, uh, the Lepanto Institute. Uh, as you can see, we have a, have a bunch of boats here. Uh, these look like Chinese junk ships. Yeah, these look like Chinese junk boats, but I don't even know what's going on there. But the Lepanto Institute. The Lepanto Institute is dedicated to the defense of the Catholic Church against assaults from without as well as within. And this guy was malding. And community notes, this is the one thing I have to thank Elon Musk for. Thank you for community notes, because I have gotten so many good laughs off of community notes. So, let's read this. Like a Soviet-era dictator, in, and in a raw exercise of power without provision of law, Pope Francis has removed Bishop Joseph Strickland as Bishop of Tyler, Texas. So, um, we have Community Note 1. Misleading. Implies irregularities or illegality under Catholic rule slash Vatican law. The Catholic Church doctrine of papal supremacy. Keep that in mind. Papal supremacy is over 1,000 years old. The Pope has, quote-unquote, full, supreme, and universal power over the whole church. A power that he can always exercise unhindered of course this this is a guy saying uh oh yes uh i fight for the defense of the catholic church didn't know this one fact that you would think that he would know um last time i can remember something like this happening was that cardinal in australia i didn't even hear about that one um pope yeah pope francis did use the holy ban hammer um so someone responds a catholic a catholic uh had the vatican flag in their bio the Pope has the right to exercise his power unhindered. He's supreme legislator. Supreme legislator. Uh, as you can see, the ratio 12k to 1k likes. And then this guy says, Really? The Pope is a dictator who has the authority to exercise unlimited power without due process? Clearly, clearly thinking that he's going to get a gotcha. Clearly thinking, oh, if I'm like a sarcastic, 
little asshole, ooh, people are really gonna like my response, and then, like, just, like, just really get him. Well, uh, Community Notes said, responded to this tweet, Really? The Pope is a dictator who has the authority to exercise unlimited power without due process? Yes. <laughs> it's so funny. Just, yes. Period. Like, you're really telling me? Yes. And this is the funny thing about it, yeah? I think if you've been on Twitter for any extended period of time in recent years, you've seen this massive movement of, uh, trad caps. Basically a bunch of, uh, 14-year-olds, uh, you know, a, bun a bunch of, uh, new high schoolers. They find out about this guy called Nicholas Puentes, and they start concocting these ideas in their mind. They're like, okay, I'm gonna become a Catholic, and then I'm gonna find me a nice blonde hair blue-eyed girl. Why? I don't know why. I'm just kind of believing whatever this guy Nick Fuentes is saying. And then I'm going to have so many fucking babies, dude. We're going to be smashing. We are going to be finagling, finoogling the noodling. Okay, the noodles are going to be so good, they're going to be so tasty, no keffles. Yeah, but we're going we're going to be doing all of it. We're gonna be doing the gabagool in the name of the Roman Catholic Church and God and holy name of Mary and Jesus. So many babies. Yeah, there's and it, and it's and it's just massive group of people who call themselves Catholics, never step foot in a mass. Never step foot. Just a bunch of converts who haven't even been baptized by the holy water. I haven't even been baptized. Yeah? It's a it's a it's a horrible pipeline that a lot of these people are getting uh, sucked down. And a lot of these people don't know anything. Anything about the Catholic Church. Nothing. Listen. If I thought that I was going to be joining a religion, especially one with a centralized leader, I'm, I'm scratching my nose, people. Scratching my nose, as you can see. But if I were to be joining a religion with a centralized leader, I would personally like to know what the abilities of that centralized leader are. What can that centralized, strong, powerful leader do? And you would think that they would, you know, know her finger through what happened with my mouth there. You think that they would know a thing or two about papal supremacy. You know, you think they would probably know about the provision that, oh, that's the wrong thing. They would know about the provision of, hey, I'm the Pope. What I say goes, whether you like it or not, but they don't. Because once again, these people are fake Catholics, yeah? They believe in it because the, it, it's an aesthetic to them. Because some, some right-wing figure is Catholic and they're like, ah, yes, I want to emulate that life, you know? And then they get mad at the Pope. They're sitting here causing schisms, people, schisms. These are schisms that are happening, yeah? It, it's so funny looking at this. No pillow. Nick said women are like chumps and up. Yeah, he did say that too. Yeah. N Nick Fuentes is weird. Um, but yeah. The Catholic Church sucks. Keep that in mind. The Catholic Church sucks. But at the same time, I'm glad that they're moving forward with progress, and I like seeing these people who know nothing about the Catholic Church but try to claim that they are Catholic themselves, getting screwed over and rejected because of it. Whether that be someone as high up in, past, uh, in power as a bishop, or whether that be someone as low in power as some silly Twitter account from Virginia who's claiming to try to defend uh, the legacy of the Catholic Church. You know, I'm very glad to see these people suffering. And if you suffering and molding, I should say, not not physically suffering, but like suffering mentally, you know, molding, not suffering mentally, molding, being mad, being so mad that you start balding, you start molding, coping and seething, um, if you will, if, if we're going to use like childish terminology, zaps, coping and seething, you know, if, if we're going to be doing that, um, if we're, yeah, I'm tired.
Regardless, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. You can also join the Discord links down below if you maybe want to debate me on this topic or you just want to hang out with people in the fan base or not really fan base. Y'all really aren't my fan base. I don't like calling y'all my fan base. The Pillow Fort. Join the Pillow Discord down below so that you can become a bedhead. You can follow me on Twitter, links down below as well. And also email me if you want to. That is down below as well. I love you all, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Gotta hit the stop recording button. Thank <laughs> you.